Corona! Woo! Finishing responsibility. Bathroom fun time. I'm the doctor of PH. College of Education at defunct university. Just before lunch one day, a puppet show was put on at school. And then the bombs went off. It was called off. Mr. Bungle Goes to Lunch. It was called Ernest Goes to Prison. It was fun to watch. Kinda. Oh, a puppet show! In the puppet show, Mr. Bungle came to the boys' room on his way to lunch. But he didn't he know what was hands. behind the door. His hands Mr. Were Bungle dirty. had some very bad ideas. <laughs> But Mr. But Mr. Bungo, Bungo didn't, didn't want to drop the soap. To wash his hands or comb his hair. He went right to lunch. <gasps> the kids didn't get the point of the puppet show then, at all. Instead of getting in no the laughing place, during the puppet Mr. show. Mr. Bungo pushed everyone aside and went right to the front. On my way, mother. Even though this made the children laugh, no one thought that was a fair thing to do. Except Timmy. Mr. Then Bungle had to assert dominance Mr. in Bungle fear of being so somebody's bitch. Yes, shove aside everything. the grape people. No They're not real. Besides, they wore sweatpants on Wednesday, and that's against the rules. The, table, that was the, end of the, puppet show. the shower scene would be saved the for after knew, the children's lunch. Even though Mr. Bungle was funny to watch, he wouldn't be much fun to eat with. Phil knew that a Mr. Bungle... Yeah, Yay, like puppets! He wouldn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Except he was already turning into Later, him. Later, Miss Brown said he already it was time doesn't for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. And it was time for the black he children to go home. There weren't any Mr. Bungles in this room. That he knows of. Phil stopped to return a book to. Here's Ms. your copy of the Necronomicon. The spook is verboten. It is banned. On his way uh, to catch up with his friends, to Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he Cause he forgot he was a boy. Were his hands clean? Is that poop? No, they were a little dirty. Phil remembered. That he checked Mr. his downstairs part to make hands. sure they're all there. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy too. I have hair. Phil didn't want to be uh, like Mr. Bungle. Hey, I'll be in my office. Hey, Inside we in the, the He-Man room, Woman Phil Haters was Club. Surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands. Phil, that's too. the urinal. Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Extra mayonnaise for me, please. Good thing he then can't he drop it. Soap off. Like it's hot. Phil dried his hands well, too. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. Lit the basket on fire and, and called sure the Ramones. His hair looked neat. Hey, once you're a jet, you're a jet, right, fellas? Now, Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. All ready to go off to war, children. I gotta go meet my girl. Yeah, you get that door for me, Jimmy. There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. That pissed Phil he off. saw some boys he knew there at the front of the line. Is. They waved for him to go up to Mr. the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle did. I don't want to go in. So Phil went to the end. Where the gypsy children stood. Thing to do. He would see his other friends inside Phil the wished he could grow a pair of balls and be more assertive. The line moved very fast. Due to the rapid Phil exterminations last week. First he picked up his tray. Phil knew that to complete his mission he would have to acquire silverware. Then he got his silverware. Metal gear. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. So he could quickly access them for CQC. The prison riot is at midnight. Pass it on. He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the mm, cafeteria. Look at that meat. It tasted good oh. and was good for him too. Phil held up the line for an hour Instead and a half. Instead of having a sandwich today, is Phil this mystery to meat? Hot lunch. No, it's ambiguous meat. Phil only enjoyed looking at Phil the food, for Cosmo too. told him that he was he too overweight. He Milk. White people Alice drink white milk. Carton on the tray. So Phil had to go Maybe with inferior chocolate so he milk. Said, may I please have some milk? I will comply. Phil to say, may I? And please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more Releasing milk. Releasing milk on three. <laughs> Phil remembered to say thank you when he took the carton of milk. Thank you, B1534. 
You didn't Welcome, want to be like Master. Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. Yes, the dessert the of the Hitler Youth delicious. is renowned all over the world. And was bigger than all the other portions the of the, the tray. Line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was. And then she, she also touched him. him. She wouldn't the lunchroom smile supervisor was charged with sexual harassment. Phil went to the table where his friends were. He put his tray down carefully, pulled out his chair quietly, and sat down. Phil he doesn't talk much. His wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. Besides, that's social suicide. There was someone Phil liked. A lot. Freddy. He always brought his lunch from home. It looked good. Freddy looked Freddy good. Freddy had a sandwich, an apple, a cookie, and milk. And duty. Before Phil began to eat, he always put a napkin on his lap. So he so could conceal Freddy. his feelings for Freddy. To Everyone hide his shame. liked Freddy. He was very polite. Phil felt For a tingle example, and he was rather confused. Someone talked to him. He always took time to chew the food with his mouth closed and swallow before he answered. Which created long, awkward pauses. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Phil Freddy also noticed how the light the seemed too. to glint off of Freddy's eyes. Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Yeah, Bungle. Yeah, he's standing up straight. Another you know polite what I'm person about. everyone liked yeah. was Alice. But oh, Alice. For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. Because she, she was a whore. Her friends at the table from any germs. For example, when Alice danced. While Phil and his friends ate, a boy ran past their table. Und You shouldn't Nine. run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Go to go. would do that. That boy was sent to the showers and never seen again. Phil and his friends oh, wouldn't hey, like man. to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. But Bill they would like the little Czechoslovakian Slovakian boys' life. table as well. Do we go play spin the bottle? Except the truth or dare. He saved his cake for last. Only a Mr. Bungle would eat his dessert before he'd finished the rest of his lunch. Because he would get diabetes. <laughs> That's not the cake, cake, it's chili good. paste. <gasps> the cake is a lie. Phil drank his milk carefully. Some children are messy when they drink milk. But not Phil. For some reason, Phil had flashbacks of his mother. As each of Phil's friends finished, they didn't leave the table, but waited for all the others to finish eating too. Though they wanted to, Phil thus was making the things last awkward. One done. Duh, he of wiped course. his mouth and hands carefully with his napkin. Slowly passed gas. Then he cleaned the table. And then he placed the tray in the white paper bag, or did he have to do it again? Dirty. Everyone at the table cleaned his own place. Phil well. would later find himself confined to a basement. Table. That was, was where the sharks were. Messy. Puerto Ricans. Phil thought a Mr. Bungle must have sat there. Phil thought, hey, Cool Runnings but was Phil actually a pretty neat flick. didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. So he put his chair neatly into place. Now the alarm his wouldn't go off. looked fine. Not a piece of paper or scrap of food was left on it. Or scrap of minority. Then the Bohemian children were sent in to oh, clean Mr. the list. Mr. Bungle sat here. Phil's friends were careful to put their waste papers and empty milk cartons where they belonged. For the empty In milk cartons way, would be used again to tomorrow. Clean. Phil was certain that Mr. Bungle wouldn't put his paper in the waste basket and his empty carton on the milk tray. Me no, Mr. Mr. Bungle. Mr. Bungle probably wouldn't bother to put his lunch tray in the right place either, but Phil and his friends did. Mr. Bungle's deserved to be exterminated. Lunch was good today. And then Miss Brown told Phil and his friends how proud she was of them. Did you enjoy they lunch, had left their children? Table the neatest in the lunchroom. No one here was a Mr. Bungle, and no one wanted. Zigong. Yes, my Fuhrer. Are you like Mr. Bungle? Yeah. Mr. Bungle is a shame because he spoils lunchtime. And of his Eastern European Don't heritage. Don't you like Mr. Bungle? And he's a hobo. Good Did you know? Matters, and lunch will be more fun he's for everyone. He's not going to be like that guy. <laughs> I'm not going to be like that guy! I'm only going to do meth once! Missionary. Chris and Joe's Puppet Show. Chris and Joe's Puppet Show! Chris and Joe's Puppet Show! Yay!
Well, hello, children. Today, my pal Chris and I are gonna show you the wonders of nature and how awesome it is. We thought we'd show this by going on a little adventure through the woods. Yay! 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 You can see all the pretty trees, the wildlife, and take in the pleasantly fragrant aromas of the forest. The best way to do this is to take a walk, maybe with some friends, or just enjoy the experience. Ooh. This is stupid. Dippy. We're even gonna hit each Ooh. other. What's wrong with cool running? Children, kid, kids, do, do you really want violence? Is, is that what you want? Yes! Corn yes. chips! But children, violence is not the answer. Uh, if we all continue to think like that, we will be constantly plagued by war and hate. Obviously. Turn the other cheek, children. <laughs> Booyah, bitch! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yes! They wanted to pay me in cash, but I wanted the pig, y'all! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I thought you said. Yeah! 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 Huh? You ain't getting none of my bacon! Ah! <laughs> That's what I thought. Moral of the story, children. Don't come between me and my bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, children, that's all for today. I'm going through my intergalactic portal back to my home planet, the planet of soul. Right on, y'all. Peace. I hope Freddy sees me clapping. <laughs>